Hey everyone, welcome to this week's Azure Infrastructure Update. It is the 25th of April. Uh, actually a pretty quiet week, but as always, if this is useful, a like, subscribe, comment, and share is appreciated, and hit that little bell icon to get notified. And while it's a quiet week for Azure, I'm having a little bit of a celebration because thanks to you, thanks to you watching and subscribing, I have just hit 50,000 subscribers, so that's kind of a big milestone for me. So I really, really appreciate that. Uh, my wife even made a little celebratory uh, surprise cake for me for 50,000. Um, so that'll be tasty. Um, but sincere thank you, uh, I appreciate it. Um, people have asked in the past for me to like a ask me anything session. And so as kind of a, a thank you and for a bit of fun, on Wednesday, I'm gonna do an 8.15 Central Standard Time just a little ask me anything session on YouTube. Uh, I don't want this to be a technical q and I think that's boring for everyone else who's not asking the question, but more general kind of uh, maybe learning and staying current and just anything rather than, hey, I had this issue. Um, happy to kind of dive into that. Okay, so new videos this week. I did kind of a, a deep dive about the new Azure Global Load Balancer that's in preview. And then building on that, how do I pick from all the different load balancing solutions, be they within a region or I need to balance between regions? So I kind of dive into those and show the new help me choose experience actually in the portal. On the compute side this week, so there are these new MSV2 and MDSV2 medium memory VMs have gone GA. Uh, I have talked about these when they were in preview in the past but obviously now they've actually gone GA. And so what these are really, obviously they're based on the M series, but as we can see, as the name suggests, they are kind of these medium memory. So we have these choices. They're once again built on the Intel Xeon Platinum 8020 Cascade Lake processors. Um, they give you like a 20% performance increase compared to previous versions, and they come in both disk and diskless. So the disk list means you don't have that temporary storage. So if you look at a disk list, the temporary storage is gonna come in at zero. But you can see we have these variable numbers of CPUs and amount of memory. And then you have the same, but with disks, you get that SSD-based temporary storage. So those are now available um, to really kind of hit those types of workloads you have. Staying on virtual machines, uh, for Azure Gov, the DCSV2 are now in preview. So these are the confidential computing virtual machines. They use the Intel Software Guard extensions, the SGX, which gives you those application-specific secure enclaves. So I write my application to use those enclaves. I can now have protection even from the things in the kernel actually running on that virtual machine. And then on the networking side, uh, App Gateway URL rewrite is GA. So we can think about as things come into App Gateway, remember App Gateway is that layer seven, so it's aware of things like cookie-based affinity, SSL offload, does all those great things. Well, it can actually now rewrite both the URL and the header. Um, so the host name, the path, the query, all of those things I can actually now rewrite. Uh, that could be based on certain conditions I specify. I can use pattern matching. That can be super useful maybe if there's certain information I want to add, maybe like certain security header fields. Maybe there's information I want to hide um, for sensitivity purposes. Um, I want to route based on the original or the modified URL. All of those things are now available. So it opens up a lot of new capabilities, but it is part of the V2 SKU only. On the miscellaneous side, so from an exam perspective, the SC200, 300, 400, 900 have all released. So if you took those in beta, you should start to be getting your results through. So I took the 300 and the 900, I got my result through saying I passed the 300. I've not heard about the 900 yet but we can actually go and see, here are those four new exams available to us, and they get you those various um, certifications that link to those. So you can see, hey, there's that Identity and Access Administrator associate with the SC300, 
and kind of there's the exam. And there are others as well. There's risk practitioners, there's, there's various other ones available. But we have those kind of four exams, those 200, 300, 400, and 900 are now released. So if you did take the beta, you should be getting the results soon. If you haven't, go take them. I have a study guide for the SC900. It's nearly two hours long, just me whiteboarding all of the key things for that exam. Um, so hopefully that will help. Azure Backup has some customer managed key enhancements. There's really three changes. Obviously customer managed key is where instead of it being a platform managed key, I control the key in my key vault. So what Azure Backup now lets me do, actually you can see some of these things, is when I use a customer managed key, well it has to have permission. So in the past that was always based for the vault would have a system assigned managed identity. Well now what we can actually do with that identity is I don't have to be system assigned anymore. I can actually give it a user assigned managed identity and it's that identity that I would then give permission to the key vault and then when I actually go and configure my kind of custom encryption over here, well, it will use the user assigned managed identity actually for that encryption. Um, also in a private preview now, when I actually go and create a new vault, I can specify to use a custom managed key. And there are now some particular policies, if I can find it quickly, but in Azure policy now for backup, I can actually now sort of audit and kind of enforce the use of, hey, I actually want to use custom managed keys for the encryption of data. So some new capabilities around that custom managed key for Azure Backup. And that's it. Uh, I said it was super quiet this week. So that's kind of all the new things. Uh, you can kind of have a little relax. Um, but once again, a huge thank you for everyone who's subscribed. If you haven't subscribed, please do. Um, again, there's no advertising on this channel, but I would like to try and one day hit that 100K subscriber, get that little plaque on the wall. Um, so it would kind of help me out. But until next time, take care.